All right, so we are heading to meet with Jackson from Ground Design, who has been kind enough to allow us to come and do a deep dive at his building, b -b building at his site. It's a rap site, but building site. Yeah, we're going to his site. Um, I put a shout out to the Water Pro Trade community, which is a Facebook group, and I asked in there who was interested in letting us come and have a look because I'm continuously looking for content to both feed uh, the machine that is DK and to deliver good quality content to our, I guess, fans, viewers, subscribers, but I also am conscious of giving our clients some exposure um, and you know irrigation is not the prettiest um, and most exciting thing in the world so when we can look at irrigation as part of a total landscape I think it's much more enjoyable for people so Jackson said yes come and have a look at my site um, this is probably a bit of a shout out to all the other guys out there if you've ever thought hey um, I would love to be featured on a deep dive but you know how do I how do I get involved send me a message um, DK and I want to do a deep dive once a week um, as well as a podcast once a week so uh, I'm looking for guests on the podcast guests to do deep dives send me a message and we will see if we can make something happen um, but this one is Jackson Shaw ground design um, and we are heading I think to Glenunga what else do I have to say that's it we're going to Glenunga for a good time call Jackson fellas fresh threads yeah. Look at you. How, how you, you doing? doing? Have you met DK before? No. Haven't. DK, how Jackson, you how, how are you guys? Hey, how are you? Very well. Isaac and Pat. This looks dry. Oh. Oh, still, how, how are you? How you going? Good to see you. This street feels so familiar. I'm yeah. pretty sure I've fixed an air release valve on one of these houses about 10 years ago. Yeah, right. Um, have you put fertilizer this at all? Yeah, we put some starter fertilizer down. Um, Do you get that with the turf? Uh, usually I just I actually just put uh, rapid razor yep. or humongous yep. down. Pretty yeah, um, like more soil conditioner more than anything. Just to start, yep. yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, just when we first lay it, and then yeah. Do you do maintenance on these jobs when you finish them, or it's not uh, part of your? They've actually asked me to do maintenance on yep. this one because um, yep. they feel like the garden's a little too big for them. Yeah. I, I don't do too much maintenance to be honest. Yep. It's uh, you know half a day once a week. I've just got like a couple of clients. Because then you get caught up becoming a maintenance company. Yeah, that's right. And I'll consider doing that, but um, we enjoy the construction yeah. side, so. I have that conversation with a lot of landscapers. Um, you know, I think even Distinctive Gardens, we did a deep dive with him at Medindi, yeah. and he's been trying to get a maintenance crew to work inside his company for ages, and it's just, yeah. it's just, I guess, it, when you don't have the infrastructure, it doesn't work. Yeah. Like you're either landscaping or... Yeah. Uh, that's what I found. I yeah. tried to do it for a while, and, and I know of a few guys who do do it. Yep. And I, I thought, oh, well, get, it'd be ideal to get a small team yep. on maintenance yep. full time, and then um, construction as well. But yeah, I've changed my mind at the moment yep. on that one. I think focus it's, on construction, and, and I'm happy with a, a team this size as well. Is it just the three of you? It's just yeah. the three of us. So you're a, you're all on one site all the time. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. Yep. I mean, we've got two sites at the moment. Yep. Um, but. I like to do it on one side, yep. finish one and then... And you're actively working on site as well? Me, yeah. Yep. 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 No, I am. It's, a, it's an interesting mix. You you watch landscapers grow and then clients still expect the owner to be on site. Yeah. And then they're not and they're like, why aren't you on site? And like, well, I was never going to be on site. I'm the owner. <laughs> well, um, you know, but then... I'm surprised the amount of people that ask me. Yeah. Like, I call Will it up a job and then they'll say, you know, uh, yeah, you're going to be the guy doing it, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it's not. I guess it's because I mean, the, the person they speak to and the person they call, they kind of want. The market to you're in, them. if you're working in, you know, nice area, mm. the majority of the people they would be dealing with, if they got three quotes, the other two probably won't be on site. Yeah. You know, that's just. I mean. Yeah, yeah. You look at companies like, like Ryan from Outscape. He's got sixteen or eighteen guys now. Mm. It's yeah. unrealistic for him to be anywhere. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> even yeah. to get to, running, yeah. to every. Well, he'd have four to six sites going, and yeah. you know, even to get to every site on one day would be hard so yeah. um, I mean come come this time of year people are really wanting to see some progress and, yep. and I, I probably we push ourselves a bit more and start a few extra yeah. few more sites because you don't want to say no yeah yeah that's right it's hard isn't it um, but you don't want to I feel people will be let down a little easier when they look out the window you started and you haven't you're not there yeah so a team this size it's hard to juggle a, a few sites at once yep. because um, you know 
it's either two people on one side and one on the other. Yeah, that's awkward. You're struggling a bit. You're bored on your own. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's it, lifting barrows. And, and it's nice to have someone else there to talk to. I mean, for my personality, I would, on my own, I'm just like, ugh. But yeah. some people like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just working away. Yeah. I mean, I, know, I guess no, there's, works, there's installers out there that work on their own. Yeah. And they love their own company. No, we, we, I do small jobs and, yeah. and these guys like to do a small job. And do you work weekends or you kind of try to just Monday to Friday? I try to do Monday to Friday. And uh, yeah, come this time of year, coming up to Christmas, it's, uh, it's hard to avoid the weekends. Make hay when the sun shines. That's it, that's it. Make up for the winter days that are lost. We didn't have a bad winter though, did like, I don't know how you got impacted, but I, I felt actually, actually we were very lucky. to Europe yep. on a holiday. Thinking it was going to rain. Yeah, and uh, it did. It was two weeks of rain. It was just it, about six weeks ago. Dude, I reckon yeah. it was when I was in, I flew to China and it rained all week yeah. while I was there. And I was in Cairns. Queensland the week before, yeah, about yeah. the same time I reckon. It's pretty happy to yeah. happy to check the report yeah. and see it. Yeah, everyone here's suffering. Yeah. Um, so you show us around, talk yeah. to us about what you've done. So, I guess how this came about. If the client engaged you at a design level or yeah, so um, I um, Annie Deer yep. uh, is a garden designer. She designed this. Yep, familiar with the name, haven't met yet. Yeah, like, I need to meet more designers. I think that's yeah. going to be our focus. But yeah, um, she got me onto this job. Yep. Uh, actually, I was. Um, I did a job with her in Gilton, and then I just happened to be working across the road. We did the house across the road here, yep. and she rocked up for a meeting with the client yeah. and said, oh, boy, well, here, do you want to have, have a look, have at, a look at this job? So yep. it was, worked out quite well. Um, got the job through her. She designed kind of this aspect of it here, yep. um, the terrace and lawn and entrance yep. here, and then this was all kind of... Um, Suggested but not drawn up. Okay, so you just construct it as you go. Yeah. So yeah. this is like really like Full blank job. canvas. Like this whole front, except the tennis court, yeah, was all it was new. About, oh, I can't remember now, like 350 square meters of paving in total. Yep. And then, um, you know, we've got close to 200 square meters of lawn. Yep. Um, Have you just done the front? We did the back as well yep. um, earlier in the year. Yep. And then we came to this, um, yeah. Are you running a time lapse? Yes, I am. Yeah. Oh, cool. Have you been doing a lot of that? I just got a, got that gimbal uh, last week. Look at you. We don't have a gimbal, DK. Why don't we have a gimbal? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it was, wicked, it's dude. It's pretty cool because the, the app like controls it and it moves with the. You know, you can make it move over time. So. Oh, so you could time lapse it for like three hours across the lawn, kind of thing. Yes. Yep. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh, God. Um, oh, so we're going to be in a video for one second. <laughs> This was a slate driveway, yep. the old crazy pave. Yep. Um, slate driveway it came down, uh, and then a single path to the door. And was this always going to be herringbone? Is that was that? Yeah, just that was um, because of the slope, or? Yes, because of the slope, and it matches in with what we did out the okay. back. Yep. Uh, and what was designed for the terraces. It's well. a classy style, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. it's so strong. Yeah, that's right. You, yeah. Um, so you see some stack bond. You know, Which still gives it that connectivity, papers. doesn't it? But yeah, and but the large format papers they just move around over time. So. And under a driveway, you, these are obviously what sixty or eighty mil, whatever bricks. Yeah, you're not yeah. they're not going to break. These are fifty mil actually. Yep. The, the clay bricks they're yep. pretty strong. Okay, but if you're going to get the concrete, yeah, you want to go yeah, like those, uh, like the Borrell or the Adbri yeah. kind yeah, of they're, they're concrete ones. Yeah, sixties um, for light light traffic like this. Yep. Um, then we. Subcontracted out this area here. This is like a storage area for their um, trailers and that kind of. And you know, it's amazing. I haven't noticed it. Yeah, so yeah, it works. It blends in really well. Like, they got that um, brush fence. Down yeah, it's just like oh yeah. There's like is that bins and yeah. whatever else. It's just they they organise the fencing and the yep. brush fence. But I got we got the concrete in and um, a builder did the the brick walling. Yep, makes sense. Um, we weren't going to take tackle that much. We got about 90 square meters of wall, uh, 90 linear meters of wall. So you could do a brick wall. Yeah, we. You just yeah. chose not to because yeah. it's not your core business. They do yet. it. Yeah. Uh, they end up doing it cheaper and than they're me set up for and it. faster. Yeah. So I'm better to. Yep. Aces in their places, kind of thing. That's right. And this is a big job for us. Um, so to make it quicker for the client as well, it's sometimes best to subcontract out. Agreed. Um, and then obviously you build relationships with concreters and brickies. That's right, and it's important to know other trades. Yeah. Is this irrigated? This is um, going to be yep. MP rotators, yep. uh, pop-up sprinklers. Yep, they're in? 
they're in. Yep. But we haven't put the heads on. We're going to use the um, MP2000. Yep. Um, oh, yeah, well, you can see got, a sprinkler just under that, yeah. Yeah, there's one there. This, I think oh, so you'll cut them and then flush them and then nozzle them after? After we've top dressed and everything. Good practice, kids, for everyone watching. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Well, they're a sensitive nozzle. Like, if they get blocked up, you can't really clean them, so. That's right, yeah. So, we definitely do that last. And do you always use a commercial, is that a deep valve box? Yes, it is. Yep. I don't always use it. Yep. Um, but on this job, actually, those solenoids were already here. Yep. Oh, so, and they were? And they were already deep. Yep. And, and the levels changed as well, because we had to lift, raise the top of the drive to allow for the, like a flat entrance oh, for the Oh, yeah, yeah, then it drops off. Okay, yeah. so that's come up. Yeah, okay, that and makes so sense. And that, so, that's why we use the commercial ones. Uh, but we've got a few valve boxes and the other ones aren't. It's, it, it honestly, and not pissing in your ear, it, it integrated really well because I didn't notice that it's happened. Yeah. And that's yeah. obviously yeah, yeah. Well, that was what big, you want. Yeah, big change in levels. Yeah. Um, and as you can like all this walling wasn't here before. This was just a general slope down towards the house. Yeah, okay. They also had drainage issues, which was like a, a practical reason so that's for re redesigning. Yep. <coughs> So th now the you know, water doesn't pull up against the house. Yeah, which is a big deal. Yeah, they actually had this room flooded. And that flooded. goes over there and then gets pumped out or goes into drainage? Yeah, we've got... Um, oh, is there something there? The strip drains yep. um, flow into 100 mil storm water. Um, and then... So, so the strip drains are separate because this driveway is going to collect a whole lot. We didn't really want to rely on the sump yep. to pump out. Yep. Uh, and the sump collects, you know, any overflow yep. and this paving area in yep. here. Just the grates. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Cool. All right. Um, so we'll walk around. Triple J. Yes. Trading Always. radio. Yeah. It's either, you know, it's funny, landscapers tend to listen to the J's and you find like electricians listen to fresh. That's a very big generalization, but. Yeah. <laughs> there's a bit of fresh going on when you're, you're at a new building site. There's a bit of a competition in the morning yeah. to get the radio on first so yep. you can. So whoever's on first gets, that's it? Yeah. Is that usually, the rules? Usually that's the like rules, yeah. Rule? I like it. I didn't know well, about that. Well, it's an unspoken rule. Yeah. So you just shouldn't even be telling me about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Is so this the, the one where you you made, did you make that underneath, that grey underneath? Um, it was existing. Oh, okay. Uh, we got a new sump. The sump it used to be familiar, up dude. against the house here. Yeah. Uh, and we moved it, but, uh, and bought a new one. Yep. Uh, but the, that little that thing mesh. underneath, is, the mesh is... Here when I got here, I just remember. pretty handy because you, you can see sump? how many. Yeah. Well, sump pumps. No, I didn't bring this one. The that little the mesh, the mesh into it the shop. No. Yeah. Um, sump pumps can handle certain solids, but the less that they pump, the better. And yeah. That's great. Yeah. So, and you could probably just get a blower and. Yeah, that's right. You know, all good. This is cool. So yeah, this is all. This was all designed. This was all designed. This this area here, probably from that wall across to the entrance. Um, that lawn looks good. How long's that been down? This went down about seven weeks ago, yeah. I reckon. Um, and this, this was terribly frost damaged. It was, uh, it was brown. And the thing is, you haven't had a real season. Like, mm. that's about to experience 20 degrees, 24 yes. degrees, yeah. 28 degrees. Sorry. That's no, right. I should turn these off before I come and do these things. Real <laughs> professional, Clint. Um, but yeah, for that to be, to come out of what's been, you know, not too hot. Yeah. It looks really good. No, it's done really well. Um, I guess the sun's helped and... Yeah. And it's got good sun, doesn't it? Because it kind of gets that all the way to... Yeah. And, and the, you know, we're a bit warmer here. The wet where the farms are located. So that path kind of falls into shade now. Yes. So that'll be interesting how the grass between yeah. the, the path handles. Yeah, that's handles right. Um, we were originally going to lay Kaiku and then decided um, once we kind of Got tolerance. onto site and realised how the how the uh, how early the shade comes over. Yeah, we had to do the. Buffalo. I'm a big Kaikuyu fan, but I'm very. I, I've got to do my my whole house, and I'm really 50 50 on what. Well, I'm more. Than, I'm 33 33 33 about Cooch as well. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, because I'm so heavily involved with Cooch. Lawn. Is pretty nice. Yeah, if we go, and I'll, I'll buy a cylinder mower, so I'll be able to get it. Yeah. yeah. Done well. So what? Who's are these? Whose papers are these? This is uh, Anston Architectural. Yep. Um, and then. Uh, the bricks are supplied from Littlehampton. Yep. So local supply. Yeah. Well, these are made Melbourne. They made yes, in Melbourne. Yeah. yeah. Victoria, and this is made up in Littlehampton. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Huns of path lights. Yes, that's it. 
They seem quite popular at the moment. Yeah, they are. I mean, um, there's not a lot. And he specified these. Yep. Um, but I've used them quite a lot. Yeah. On jobs. We sell them as like if it's not a spike light, it's generally those. Yeah. Um, and you've used hippo clamps on all your irrigation. Yeah, we didn't used to, but a couple of years ago we you know, had across. never really used them. Yep. Um, but you know, you just get the odd call from a client saying, oh, "I've got a yeah. bust, you know, my irrigation system," and yep. um, you, you go there and it's just that. a clamp that's yeah. popped off, and it's not worth it. So it, it, they cost a bit more, but I never get a call back now. Yeah. So and really, the cost difference is so minimal. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we, we actually um, changed the levels quite a bit here, as well. The lawn used to go up, meet the tennis court flush. Yep. Uh, so what? And so we really d dipped that down so that there wasn't so much. Um, and so then you had to retain the tennis court with a brick. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So we did the um, we laid the edging around. Yep. With the just for practical reasons. Yep. Mowing and edging. Yeah. Um, but the the builder did the or the bricklayer did the um, little wall along the um, court. It blends in really well. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's and so, we've got and a, it's so simple, um, but it looks it's just yeah. Yeah, it, it is. Works. Yeah. We've got a drainage system underneath here okay. too. Like so a, this a is a concern. Um, yeah. Yep. Um, I, I guess it, it's a fair area. Yeah. The tennis court doesn't run onto it, but it used to flood before. And so the and tennis pool. court has its own drainage. It does. It just goes. It, there's a. It all falls to that corner and out yeah. to the street. So it's a big block. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's massive, eh? Hey? Yeah. Is that, are there all the other blocks on the street this big, or is it this is just um, one of those? Kind I'm not of sure. The one the one next door is also quite big. One of those quite special large. blocks. Uh, the one we worked out across the road's a bit smaller. Yep. Probably half the size. Do they have are these um, like kids here, young family, or? Yes, yeah, they are. They've got. Um, uh, I'm not sure how many but like kids, young but, enough, but they're still yeah. playing. Obviously, there's a lot of balls. Yes, yeah, so. lots of toys around. Um, yeah, lots, lots of toys. They've actually got a few dogs as well. Yeah. So the the work we have done in the backyard, um, some of it's, it's been destroyed. <laughs> there's, yeah. there's, I the think there's yeah. three or four Labradors. So. Yeah, well, I had. I've got one Lab. I had two. Yeah, and I completely, completely understand. Yeah, um, if they're not going to the toilet on the lawn to kill it they're digging it to kill it yeah and they don't care yeah that's it they think it's hilarious they love and that, <laughs> having a pool open like that as well there's yeah a good chance they're going to be in there as well yeah well they, so. they were while we were doing the works out the other side yeah and that's not temperature dependent either is it <laughs> so have you set the lighting up on a timer or is it um they just can turn it's it not on, on a timer to? they've just got a remote in the house yeah. and so yeah. they just turn it on it's, it's all on one station so it's all well, that makes all sense. All the lights or, yeah. or nothing, but um, it's only the path lights and a couple of spikes. spikes. Yeah, highlights, yep. Obviously, if they want actual usable light, they've got some pretty big floodlights up there, so. That's right, and I think they've got a few floodlights yep. installed on the house, too. Um, we changed the levels quite a bit here on the entrance. That, that was also a practical reason for. So there's a street there as well. There's a street the there block, and yep. a pathway, but um, what. It used to be a bit funny, it was a huge step. Um, there's a brick wall here oh, yeah. that was existing, and so they actually had, uh, you know, whatever that is, so you'd 350 step off that step to, step enter to the public space. To, to enter the, yeah, okay. the house, and there was a gate here that was all had it, so yep. we, uh, yeah, cut out all of this so that there was a nice kind of entrance. Yeah, you need that kind of landing pad, don't you, for the gate to open into, but then. Yes, yeah, that's right. It's a whole lot more effective and, and much much nicer to... Just a random Ferrari sitting on the side of the road. I really want to drive a Ferrari. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I need to own one. Yeah. But just to know what it feels like to drive one. I wouldn't mind it either. Either way. <laughs> like, like, if you've got enough money to buy one, that's cool. But yeah. I've always... Um, my partner's from uh, Germany. Yeah. And so we, we visit her family quite a bit. Yep. Probably once a year. And uh, over there on their autobahns, there's no limit. No, no limit. So yeah. I've, my uh, dream is to kind of hire a, yeah, something, something good like that and <laughs> go so for a if you, if you had to choose between a Ferrari, a Porsche, a Lamborghini, those would be the top three. Would, what would you choose if, you had, if one of them, what would you go with? I'd probably go the Porsche, I reckon. Yeah. We talked about this the other day, hey? I'm, Lam I'm definitely Lambo. Like, yeah. Just 
blue, the blue collared, like dirty, rough. Like, <laughs> I think Porsche is probably a bit more gentlemanly. Yeah. So, oh. but, yeah. well, well, we'll meet in ten years and <laughs> compare our cars. Mm, I'll probably still have the uh, the truck. To be honest. <laughs> yeah, I guess it depends what you choose to invest your money into. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, how right. long does a job like this take for your guys to complete? Um, oh, we've we've been like on and off site for quite a while. Um, juggled a, a few different jobs along the way because there were hold-ups with the brick walling oh, and just and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, we had to wait for other trades as well. So yep. we've been on this site for quite a while, but but the majority but of if it you had probably full took access. two months. Yep, I'd say. Yep. Um, yeah, but yeah, obviously it's taken us longer because we've. Yeah, when you're impacted, mm. I'm, my house. I'm trying to get my stuff done. And we've been designing it since January. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. I wanted to pull in by Christmas, and now that's Christmas 19. Right, yeah. Not yeah. Christmas 18. Yeah. So. It happens quickly, doesn't it? Yeah. It's pushed so, out. And when you're Anything trying to run started? a business, Any work nothing. Started? Yeah. So, we've still got to do everything. So, mm. it's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, so the clients at this place, they kind of just let you do what you do? They've been really good. Yep. Yeah, yeah, they've been really good. That makes it much nicer, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. It's Definitely. Tough. It's makes kind of it. a. It's we're at Glenunga. Yes. It's, a, it's an interesting suburb. It's a name that you don't hear a lot. Yeah. It's kind of like a little pocket of, like, tightly held. I don't know how often they sell, but. Yeah, I'm not, I, I think they've had this one for about two years or so. Yeah. Okay. So pretty fresh. Yeah. Big house. Yeah. Um, any what? any major challenges that when you were doing this? Like, was it? Um, I guess access wise it's pretty good the street seems skinny yes access was alright the that kind of semis that came to deliver bulk materials struggled a bit but it was fine and did you make many, any changes along the design along the way with the design or Annie's um, pretty much like that's how I want it done you don't really have to get to like this was uh, like Annie did a great job and, and this this was all unchanged yep um, the only thing that kind of we quoted up as, as it happened yep. was the driveway and that walling yep. because um, we could only really know after the excavation was done how, how tall the walls yeah, are yeah, yeah. and yep. where we need walling yep. um, so we weren't sure whether you know how that was going to finish that's right yeah there's a fair bit of fill in that um, garden bed along the fence so did you have to bring soil in yes yeah yep. we brought a fair bit in yep. yeah and we excavated heaps of this out um, yep. because drainage was an issue with this lawn um, there's 100 mil of sandy loam in, which yep. you like to do anyway while you're here with a big Definitely. machine. But apart from that, no, no real issues. So what did you? We hit water a bit. You hit? Oh, so there's just <laughs> random copper everywhere. I noticed there was yeah. copper behind the push no. bike just on the side of the house. Yeah, so. it was all um, PVC actually underground. Right. What they'd done, the old irrigation system was a bit of a nightmare. They had um, they had 12 systems, and it was bare, each solenoid was on its own. Yep. Buried. See, that's how they would irrigate a park. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Like, and it's a pretty big site, so you can understand why they've done it, but... Yeah, it is. Um, but no boxes or anything. Yep. So, it's fine no valve it. boxes. It's so, fine as, it. as we were excavating, you know, the, the PVC main came through, yep. servicing all of the 12 solenoids, so we just kept finding... You kind of just have to ignore it, don't you? And well, yeah. if it's a main line, you have to repair it, but... Yeah, we did. We, we just ran it all. Uh, we got it all done. All new irrigation. New. And, um, and laid the, the old um, sump system. We, we just relayed the, the pipe coming through. Is there... It's an automatic controller? Yes, it's yep. a hydro-wise. Yep, so they, that was something that was important to them, or you just wanted to give them as much... Um, they weren't aware of the, yep. uh, yep. you know, what was on the market, so yep. I kind of just gave, gave them the yep. br quick brief, and then they chose the hydro-wise. Did you go with flow sensors and everything, or is it just base... Just kind of just a raw hydro wise. Yeah, yep. yeah. Connected to weather stations and that, or still just just the Adelaide Airport yep. one. Yep, which is because that's free and yep. uh, and it's close enough. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. It, yeah. You're close not watering. Enough. If there's a big rain or yeah. a heat wave on the way, it'll yep. still. Yep. You know. And you've got adjusted. that set up. Yeah, it's all set up. Yep. Do you monitor it or? Uh, I've got it on my phone, yep. so I get a message if there's something if, if something goes wrong with yep. it. Um, that's cool. But I leave it up to them. Yep. Um, probably when I start maintenance, if 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 I do yep. on this job then I'll actively control it but yep. um, you know for the time that we've been here it's been useful 
because they need the back still watered. Yeah, that's right. <coughs> you want to isolate. If the yeah. power goes off or something, and I'll, I'll just let them know. But yep. because of the time of year, yeah. we haven't. And they, they've got those alerts on their phones too. Yeah. So. And these, then the, sorry, sorry, that hedge will grow up and. Yeah, we, hedge out. we actually came and did this about a year ago, just this hedge yep. and some planting out the back. Because you knew you wanted to get them in. Before all of the time. works came yep. and give it some time. They knew they wanted a hedge along that yeah. fence. So that's about a year's growth. They've doubled in size since we put it in. Yeah, I wish I'd done that at our place. We actually um, just laid this stone walling as well. The landing, the kind of uh, the landing where you kind of see the colour change a little yes, bit. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also along the back, um, between the, the gap in the fence there, yep. uh, we laid that wall because it, it stopped. Yep. It stopped at that fence and started again. And there was this funny round section. Yep. Uh, the soil just overflowed onto the court, so we we've paved that with yep. in like a crazy. Pave. So you get to sit up there and yeah, yeah. So drink, that was drink some pims and that's right. Is that how it's done in tennis? That's a tennis thing, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's a lac- what is it? Polo? They drink pims. <laughs> He's too young. I'm not sure. Yeah. No, <laughs> the you UK know thing, have, I think. The, um, when they have that Royal Croquet <laughs> Club, yes, they yeah. drink pims. Yeah. It's, I think it's cricket. cricket. It has to be. Yeah, croquet. <laughs> Real okay. Yeah, that's what I said, Polo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. what you were going to say something about down here? Uh, I was just going to say the MP rotators we've used as well here. Yeah. Um, they are by far the most popular head at the yeah. moment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this lawn is such a perfect design, like nice and straight. Yes. Ninety degree. Yeah, we enjoyed, Ninety degree angles. <laughs> we enjoyed. Uh, it was easy to do. Deal we, with. My original backyard was designed with all these curves, and I'm like, no. Nah, yeah. 45s and 90s, nothing yeah. else. We, we just redid our um, backyard as well yep. and decided to go with lots of curves yep. and you know, yep. it was a bit of extra work. So. But the, and look, you, as long as you know you're aware of it, it waters into the garden a bit. I mean, it would be interesting if it was curvy on the side of a tennis court and it probably wouldn't work design-wise because you've got such yeah. so many lines, like yeah. so, so, so much par- parallelity. Yes, yeah. Well, they, <laughs> they uh, that was obviously, yeah. Part yeah. of the reason for, the for all the square. Yeah. yeah, That's cool. Anything else you want to show us while we're here? Uh, if you want to see the backyard, it, like yeah. I said, it's um, the lawn is yeah. looking a bit sad no, uh, because of the here. dogs. But we won't we won't pass judgment. We un- we appreciate that um, you've had to deal with Labradors <laughs> and kids, both of which are I don't know what's worse actually. You want to you ideally come back to a job when it's uh, when it's at its peak. When it's looking great, but. The, look, I'm really keen to, to I, know, I don't know how it'll look but over time come back to these sites with you yeah. you know in five years or three years and go hey look how much that hedge has grown and well the garden will be, nice look beautiful lawns. then and I think I don't know if you're a member of the Master Landscapers um, but it, is that do you want that closed yet? oh yeah the t- dogs will um, but they, you can enter an award up to three years after you've built a garden I think oh yeah right so um, you, could, you want to almost leave your gardens until they're established and then yeah. you know, they look better. You guys are old, aren't you? Very old. You can smell my dog. So, out here... I think this is cool. They've, you've got a space here yeah. for entertaining in that hedge. So we didn't plant any of this. Um, but Your paving. Our paving. So there was just a border around the house, pretty yep. much. And this was all... That was gravel where the trampoline now yeah. is. And then this, where we're standing... His gar- was garden bed, yep. um, and so we, you know, just paved it all. So they had a hard surface for the trampoline. And you run all your else conduits to, to in die. for them for irrigation and that way. Yeah, you're doing it. Yep. yeah, yeah. We ran all the irrigation yep. before doing it. These look like they've got a lot of new growth. Yeah, they hang on a second, buddy. They're going, they're going well. They're looking a little bit sad when we arrived. Yeah. Well, spring, we made, springs, you know, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Um, and so yeah, I can see what you mean with the lawn. It's tough. But yeah. I look at the size of these dogs. There's like 180 kilos of dog here. <laughs> Actually, that might be all hair. That's probably not fair. Yeah, They're not too bad. Based off a black lab. Hey, buddy. Cool. Yeah. So this is um, pr- pretty much what we did. Um, we relayed all the lawn and installed pop-ups. There was subsurface, but these dogs were digging it up when they heard it turn yeah, turn on. They, it was fun. they heard it kind of whistling yeah. and. Yeah. Um, and so there were holes everywhere. 
So this that's, that's edging is something that we're seeing a lot of the, the, the steel. Yes, That's yeah. a six mil? Yes, it's a six yep. mil. Did you put that in all your jobs or is it? Um, oh, we didn't install this one. Yep. It was already in because the gardens were all. Yeah, so you just paved up to it. We paved yep. up to it. But yes, we use uh, steel, yep. six mil, the yep. core turn. Yep. Um, yeah, it works really well. It's quite, it's in at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it is a it's a perfect it's edging. Funny, It'll like, last even if it wasn't in, how, when's it ever going to be out? Because it's so yeah. good. Like, yeah, it actually, works. yeah, it ha it yeah. has been used for quite a while. Yeah. Uh, but definitely, a lot of people are requesting it now. I think people are probably happy to pay for it now. Yeah, it seems like landscaping's at a point now where people go. Yeah, it does cost money. Like mm. it is a it is a, a building trade, and it, if we need it done, we're going to have to pay for it. Yeah. Whereas probably 20 years ago they're like oh I just stick some plastic in it doesn't really matter we just want the mulch not to go on the lawn and that's right yeah so no, there are pl plenty of people wanting this and yeah it's it gives a good look you know it's it's, it's a different look to other edging or like brick edging or yeah we also use aluminium edging a bit yep uh, it's you know I usually suggest this caught and steel or do you the roll aluminium. the aluminium or you buy no you buy it's actually link edge yep yeah, so that's that's an actual a brand proprietary product. Like it's yeah. got the the nail, the hammer hole. Like you can hammer. Yeah, it's um, it's got a little bracket the, at the bottom the that yeah. you just hammer. I reckon I've used in. it. And they're just slides sliding into lock. Yep. It's all flexible, but not. You can. Not it's good for weak. curves. Yeah. So there's, you, you can get some real thin steel yep. edging. That's I don't know. It's so it terrible that. to get straights. I reckon but. I used it at my last house because Paul Jackson did my last house when he was trading. Yeah. And he loved the shit. Yeah, because his gardens are really curvy. Like they were like everything was curved. Yeah. So like, like something really thick wasn't working for him because he was just all over it. Like yeah. Um, and he'd almost paint it on site, like as in like just work it out. Get yeah. The artistic yeah, stuff. that's right. It makes it easier. I mean, we we actually got a uh, steel roller made up for yep, us. Yep. So you can like. So we can roll the thick steel. Yep. Um, into quite a tight bend like yep. around trees or so how does that work you roll it and then you just keep rolling it to get it to curve more yes yep. yeah yeah you keep rolling and we, you just kind of um the way this one works you just kind of tighten it yep. down the middle one there's three rollers yep. and then you yeah turn oh, it through it's pushing. Yeah, and yeah. it pushes the bottom one pushes down yep. to yeah it sounds so kind of like early century like um blacksmithing it's, <laughs> smithing, just it's nothing too fancy it's not yeah. exciting so, right. well, we'll have a quick look at the lawn. I, yeah. know, I know it's not your proudest lawn. No. But I know what it's like with these guys. And buffalo? Yeah. This, yes. See, so they probably needed Kaikuyu out here. Yeah. But um, then the other downside of that is then you're gonna, you can potentially cross-contaminate your two lawns. That's right. And we also had quite a bit of shade out here as well. Yeah. There, there was originally buffalo. Yep. Um, so we wanted to go with that again, but yeah first half of the day it's or the morning at least it's all in shade yep. and come the afternoon this tall hedging and trees along yeah. here and if that's got leaf <coughs> that changes everything doesn't it yeah that's right which um, when the sun does so there is a fair bit of shade <laughs> but you can you can see the dogs have really hammered this area <laughs> the dog's very experienced in that it's like lie down <laughs> yeah oh, so that's where our work ends really just yep. just there that path it definitely works like the style because this house is quite a unique looking house mm. to try and landscape to match the house yeah. is challenging as well. Yeah, that's right. Like, like if you'd gone the too red. The choice of yeah. yeah, quite nice. I think if you went too red, it would look wrong and if you went to try and match it, there'd be too much sandstone. So. Yeah, that's right. right and cool. I don't think they wanted to go too, too modern, yeah. contemporary with it all, so. Yep. Thanks so much for making some time to show us, man. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no worries at all. Thanks for coming.